from Detroit, Michigan, USA. In my house, hosted by T. Carlita. Where the true stories are told and great music is played. The In My House Techno Music Show, hosted by T. Carlita. Where the true stories are told and great music is played. Coming to you straight out of Detroit. The birthplace of techno music. Coming to you each and every week online via our website as well as our podcast. Follow us on social media and keep up with us with the music alerts. This is T. Carlita for the In My House Techno Music Show. of the In My House Techno Music Shot. I am your host, T. Carlita. And guess what? I am super, 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 super excited to have the gayest guy on the planet. And he is so happy about it. Not only got that from his bio, so I'm not trying to be funny, y'all. So don't be right. Me talking about, hey. No, okay. totally ally. And this is my love and my friend. I love him and his husband so much. Hot shout out to Steve. Shout out to Steve. So let's get started. How was that? That was great. <laughs> <laughs> I Amazing. read your bio. I'm like, oh, we're about to have fun. We're about to have fun. <laughs> so let's get right into this. Um, so I know you've been doing this stuff for a while. You've been doing all the after hours, the the real cool, wild, wild party experiences. But in the midst of your career, who are some of your greatest influences? Who gets like like when I grow up, I want to be like them. I mean D. Wynn definitely is one of the most influential people in my life. He really helped me out in the beginning of my career, really took me in. He's such an amazing person just outside of being a DJ. He's got the best heart and he really inspired me to just be myself, basically. Like the music is, is aside from it, but like your persona is like what people really attached to so like he really showed me to be my my true self and within that like just became an amazing friend he still is the, has i have the most love for him he is such an amazing person um aside from him also jason kendig i didn't know at the beginning of my career but he started the traffic jam and he was 19 um and then uh became a part of uh uh, Honey Sound System moved to San Francisco, as well as Mike Servito, which was in Honey Sound System as well. Uh, both of them, gay artists as well, really inspired me to like really get out there. And they've also inspired me to inspire the next generation. So on top of that, I strive to help out the new artists that are coming up that don't have the opportunity. I have the chance to give them that. And I will always give them, you know, that first gig or like the first few gigs. I'm just like, yeah, come on, let's let's put yourself out there. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, throughout your career and I'll, I'll say, you know, there's a lot of stigmas, you know, outside and within the LGBTQ community. How have you been able to remain your authentic self? Because every time I see you, you are who you are, period. And I know that going and coming and from growing up in the business. So how have you been able to just remain your authentic self in spite of everything that's going on in the talk around? Because I know the inside, listen, let's, let's clear this up. Because people be talking about outside of the LGBTQ community of stigma. There's a whole lot within that people don't even understand. So talk about that a little bit. Well, my commitment to using the, my platform as a DJ and an artist, uh, you know, I definitely advocate for LGBTQ plus and the representation within the music industry. 
you know, we're everywhere. Like people don't understand how much we are in it, but we are everywhere, even though you don't, you don't see us, but we're, we're, we're all pulling the little strings here and there, making everything happen. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, as far as that goes, you know, I, I support organizations within, uh, the community, uh, uh, geared for life has been going for 30 years. Um, you know, the inclusive inclusivity and diversity within the community within the community is like super important uh um you know uh i don't know <laughs> <laughs> but but it, you know for you as an artist and you as a person how have you been able to remain your authentic self because i know that you have had situations where you might have been like you know what and then you're like no nah, i'm gonna still be me i just have to i mean it, it's just staying true to yourself, I guess. Like, I, there's so many people that, you know, can be changed by the, the industry. Right. And I see it happen, and I just automatically think, you know, that's not what I want to be. I don't, I don't, I support them with that, whatever they do. But for me, the most important thing is just being myself. Right, right. So how did you get started? How did you, how did you get your foot in the door what what got you going look like what was your first piece of equipment and when did you get turned <laughs> out by when did you get turned out by this music business uh i actually still have my first piece of equipment i oh, wow. little little small little controller i think it's a tractor okay. i don't even make them anymore it was like a hundred bucks i don't even remember i think my friend gave it to me and uh my first what I realized I wanted to do parties was probably 2013. I went to movement and I was just blown away. And I was like, you know, <clears throat> I want to do this all year round. And I didn't, I mean, I knew there were clubs and stuff, but I didn't, I wanted to create my own thing. So the first thing I did was, uh, I did a party at the whiskey parlor. I don't know if, uh, it's not open anymore, but it was the old motor city wine above grand trunk. I love uh, that place and miss it so yes. much. So we, I, I just wanted to do a party. I didn't even know DJs. I didn't know how to DJ. I wasn't planning on DJing. I made a little mixed CD <laughs> at home on my laptop, made like a hundred copies, played it during the party and like gave, gave them out to everybody. And uh, I got three offers to do the uh, a party at other bars. And that's when I was like, oh shit, I guess I got a DJ now. <laughs> <laughs> so then I kind of took it more seriously. Um, and that's basically how I started and it was never, I never expected it to get this far, but I just went with it and it's been such an incredible journey. You've been doing this for a long time. How many years now? 10. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It, it doesn't seem like that long, but it's been 10 years. Yeah. So you've been doing this around the same time I started my show because yeah, that's yeah. when we ran into each other. Cause I'm yeah. 10 years now too. Yep. Wow. So we're 10 Jones. together. We're 10 yep. together. Yeah. Yep. Just double check. <laughs> so let's talk about some collaboration. So if mm -hmm. you could get a chance to collaborate with an artist, um, who would that be? I mean, there's so many artists, right? <laughs> okay. I mean, top, I guess... top list. Top list. <laughs> I would say, I mean, Honey Dijon is definitely. Oh my God, yes. I know, I know. She's like a uh, incredible person, human being, DJ, uh, from a uh, producer. It's just incredible. I would love to collaborate with her. But like you, like you said, like collaboration is the key. Mm -hmm. it, it, if you don't collaborate with people, you really, it's hard to really move forward. You know, like I rely on collaborations to further my just expand my my vision or whatever i do you know i can't do it alone mm -hmm. and i like to pick people's brains um but yeah honey dijon is definitely one of them i would love mike servito is like <laughs> i love him so much he's an incredible person uh i would love to collaborate with him too um uh locally uh i mean i've worked with a lot of artists um i would love to to work with Mr. Joshua. Mm -hmm. He he I mean he quit TV, but he's got his own studio now and he's really like doing what he wants. And I'm super happy for him and proud of him. And uh we're we've been talking, so we're gonna try to collaborate here soon in the summer. 
That's good. That's good. I interviewed him recently too. He okay, is a yeah. cool guy. I swear. Oh, oh my god. He's straight up with no chaser too. I was like, whoa, okay. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's straight up. And I can see you guys doing some really cool things together because he really got that nightclub situation really he's got a good formula for it and, and oh, your yeah. talent and his talent put together man it'd be great yeah. i'll be at some of y'all priorities just don't make them too late because you know old lady can't hang out that late <laughs> you come I'll, open up, I'll open up for you okay oh and perfect I'll let the younger up. ones take over i'll yeah. warm up the floor for them there you go <laughs> you got it so now is there anything that you want people to know about you that they may not already know um I mean, I definitely use my platform to inspire others now. I've been doing it for 10 years, like we said. And at this point, I'm looking for the next generation. I'm, I'm, it's, I know it's weird for me to say, but it's true. Like, there's always going to be those new people coming up. Um, I always try to find them, book them, give them their first gig. And some of them run with it and, like, actually become amazing DJs. Some of them do it and then realize, oh, you know, this is what I wanted. But, like, I still gave them that opportunity. And, like, now they know. Right. So that's a good thing, too. So I guess what I want people to know about me is, like, my self-discovery from, from as a gay artist and a gay person, uh, you know, within the community here, I really need those people to, like, become the next person you know there's always gonna be the next person but if nobody's trying to do it in order to give them the opportunity it's just not gonna happen right and then it, you know it, it gets you know you, you get the the bad mm -hmm. music <laughs> so I, I, I always like to try to like make sure people know and understand what makes detroit dance mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's true and if nobody nobody teaches them they're not gonna know that's true. so that's, that's so I, that's what i really want people to know about myself is like it's not just about me. It's about the next. Right. That's good. You always got to pay it forward. You got to pay yes, it forward. Exactly. You got to pay it forward. That's so important. So now one more thing. What are your thoughts about the industry? And as it relates to what are some of the things that you hope will change? Or what are some of the things that you hope will stay the same? Hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, but... <laughs> I mean, it's definitely, Detroit is very special in this way. Like, we have a lot of change, but it's not, we still stay close to our roots. True. Which is, which is like, what are you? that's one of the reasons why I will never leave Detroit. I love it here so much. And it's so, it's inspiring, really. Um, but, uh, you know, I, uh, what was the question? <laughs> How, some of the things that you hope will change and some of the things that will stay the same. Well, the parties, the small parties, I hope will never, will never, never stop. Like the the parties that fit only a hundred people, I hope that never changes. Little hot box parties, because those are really where, you know, I see that people find themselves, and because it's a, it's a, it's a close, it's a close party. Everybody can actually vibe feel each other. Yes, feel each other, vibe <laughs> together, and like you know, talk and like. And most of our parties, you know, you know, we throw small parties for the most part mm -hmm. and people always leave and they're like, oh, my God, like I just met 10 amazing best friends that I will love forever. And I'm like, yeah, you know, a lot of this, too, is because, you know, we we really hone down our our crowd, too. So, like, I don't need 400 people at a at a, at a party right. like I love those parties, but like sometimes they can get a little overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So like the small parties are really the dialogue that never changes. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as the things that I think <laughs> don't uh, do do change, um, I just hope there's other new bars that come up. You know, most of the gay bars shut down, and that's okay because Detroit, everybody feels like they're accepted so you go to almost any of the bars you see gay people everywhere it's because we feel safe we don't the gay bars are important but we don't need them as much here anymore that's why i think a lot of them closed but i do wish there were more gay bars that open but there have been some but they they don't work as much because we 
the need for the gay bars kind of dissipated exactly. because everybody's gay. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> it's gay. Detroit is gay. Yep, pretty much. Yep. So, and, and that makes sense because, like you said, there was a need for it during the eras when it was a need for it because, you know, that was the, only to, safe, the, safe, the safe spots are, mm -hmm. are not as necessary now because, thank God, we've come to a point where people are accepting people for who they are. And like you said, nobody's casting major judgments like they used to. So, right. You know, I mean, there are cities that are like that and there so, are... And gay bars are are, are are everywhere, you know, in uh, other parts of the country. Right. But it's like, it's like Detroit is special in that way. And like we have really come a long way and it's it's very beautiful. I agree I, with I, you. They touch it, yes. I totally agree. Well, look, Tyler, I know that you are busy. I appreciate you for taking time out of your schedule just to spend a few times to physically talk to me today. We always see each other in passing hugs and kisses and shout outs and all. And I know that I will see you on some dance floor, twirling and moving, <laughs> like we always do. Yes, ma'am. Yes, <laughs> ma'am. So I appreciate you. Love you much. And, and say you. hello oh. to Steve. You guys, you two are so amazing. And I'm, I always wish both of you so well and you as well. Oh. Okay. We love you so much, baby. You are in my house, hosted by T. Carlita, where the true stories are told. And great music is played. In My House Radio, online 24-7. Featuring only the best techno and house music. And be sure to tune in for Sunday Inspiration. Every Sunday from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Get connected. www.inmyhouse65.com Welcome, Judge Mathis. Thanks for coming to share an important message with the Wayne County Taxpayers. Well, thank you for allowing me to help. You know, most of my life I was a resident of Wayne County, and so I'm here to help because Treasurer Shabri wants to work with homeowners to keep families in their homes and prevent foreclosure. If you're having trouble making your property tax payments, let us know. We have many resources to help. Already in the payment plan, it's important you stay in good standing. Making property tax payments is now easier than ever. We have placed payment kiosks in community centers across the county. We've also added kiosks in our offices. Contact us at 313-224-5990 or email us at taxinfo at waynecounty.com. And remember, stay safe, save time, make your appointments and payments online. are in my house hosted by t carlita where the true stories are told and great music is playing he once said i never eat at restaurants i'm a simple guy in all aspects of my life we see that on the court he doesn't draw a lot of attention to himself he just focuses on the shannon and again it's the clippers from deep it, it was a tough Fouge sur mon côté, une voix sur le côté, elle sait qu'on est côté, tant qu'elle vient accoster, elle veut que j'appelle maman si tard Mais je n'ai aucun temps à lui accorder Tu sais avec qui elle veut passer ses nights Tu sais dans quoi elle veut passer ses mains J'ai besoin pour un mot et le maillot Mais si vraiment elle voit elle va casser les reins je pars dans la ville, à la recherche des billets J'suis toujours dans les bails forts, j'suis toujours bien et mal fort J'deviens hostile, c'est dans le sac y'a des billets manquants Ils ont kiffé mon style, si tu peux me voir faudra poser mon temps Te fais pas de fait, si toi et moi on a passé du bon temps Ah j'ai le sein, quand tu passes down, down Baby burst down, down Uh -huh. 
On fuck les négros et la police uh-huh. Deux trois kilos sous ses lots pour se la couler yeah. uh-uh. J'ai deux trois bitches dans les coulisses uh-huh. Paye pour sa couler, paye pour son boulet Devant moi, elle va chez avec son bolet <rire> Père d'Ocane, tout doit sortir d'Italie Tu prends la tête qu'au fois, loin j'ai les tailles Baby, 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 oh. je viens du ghetto, ghetto, ghetto les mecs de chez moi jouent avec des métaux Y'a que la daronne ou les condés qui me lèvent tôt Des mouvements m'ont sorcé Mais dis-moi comment t'as fait Quand tu buzz down, down Mais tu buzz down, down J'deviens hostile hey. C'est dans le sac, y'a des billets manquants Ils ont kiffé mon style yeah. Si tu veux me voir, faudra poser mon temps Te fais pas de fait yeah. Si toi et moi, on a passé du bon temps Là j'ai le sais tu buzz down, down, baby buzz down, 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 down. by T. Carlita, where the true stories are told and great music is played. Fellas, I'm new in town, and I've been here a couple times. I absolutely love your place, man. 
But I've got to ask you, uh, if you can, I've heard that you're going to be shutting this place down. I'm not proud of it, brother, but we're behind our property taxes. And the county is all over us, man. I'm even afraid to even give them a call. Well, we can't let it go, brother. I mean, we can't give up. There's, there's got to be a GoFundMe campaign that we can run, you know, even pass the plate. Is there a forgiveness program or something that's out there? Well, unfortunately, that's only for the big guys. No, actually, Wayne County has payment plans for everyone. Are you for real? Yes, it's a well-designed program. We want to help you save your business. That's what I'm talking about. I'm Wayne County Treasurer Eric Sabree. If you have delinquent taxes on your home or business, contact our office, 313-224-5990, or visit our website, treasurer.waynecounty.com. We're here to help. Got it. In My House Radio, online 24-7 the best techno and house music and be sure to tune in for sunday inspiration every sunday from 6 a.m to 6 p.m eastern standard time get connected www.inmyhouse65.com you are in my house hosted by t carlita where the true stories are told and great music is played. <laughs> 